So we dropped six hooks that night. It was like three o'clock in the morning. Rich oh. homie Quan walks in the studio and he's like, play me something. And then we play this fucking, this hook that we made. And he's like, I'm gonna go record right now, <laughs> load, load me up. And then he made the fucking verse in like 20 minutes. I swear to God, all freestyle. Morjesta, ja se on Osmanti tässä näin uuden videon parissa. Tänään tulee haastattelu NBA Beatsin kanssa. Tää video, me tullaan puhumaan siis englantia tai koko videon ajan. Päästään näkemään vähän, että millaiset on mun englannin taidot ja näin edespäin. How you doing? Great. Blessed. Can't complain. How, what you have done like recently? Been in studio, right? Yeah, I've been in the studio, making beats, making tracks, making records. Whatever I can do. Loops, melodies, whatever. With who? Who? Uh, well, yesterday we had Lucas Leon. You know, fire is coming. Yeah. And then the other day I had those Danish guys. They came from Denmark to make some beats with me. Who? Up, what is, what up is their north, name? Up north. Okay. It's like three guys. They came. Okay. We cooked up. That's great. Fun. It was fun. Yeah. From Danish, the people people come here from Danish and just to make beats. Imagine yeah. that. Because yeah. you know, like you can do beats like online yeah, and shit, exactly. but you know, like it's like more organic when you Def do like like definitely. like we in the in the same room and shit. Yeah, you get to know people more better yeah. and stuff. Because you know, like you when you be in like real contact with them. Yeah, yeah, shit. definitely. Yeah, how how was the studio session with like these Danish guys? It was super chill. We were locked in for like 12 hours, two days in a row. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, made some crazy beats too. Have you done like any other sessions in like in this past one week? <coughs> uh, let me see. Well, Lucas Leon was the one, and then we had uh, we were supposed to have Matt Boyali, but we didn't have him. And then I had this one rapper girl from Universal. I don't know if I can say that, but she's from Universal. Okay, okay. <laughs> What is the name? Can you say? I don't know if I can say it. Uh, okay, okay. Until it's announced, I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. So it's not like yeah, announced. Yeah, it's not okay, announced. Okay, okay, okay. I got it right now. Yeah. So it's like good, good not to say it. Yeah. You know, like, don't know. Yeah. Don't want to get in trouble, man. Yeah. Don't want. To. So you are now signed to Universal, right? Yes, I am. And the like Def Def Jam. Def finish. Jam. Yeah. Yep. Like how how did that came up? Like, like, like why you there and shit like that. <sighs> Well, when me and Jason started doing this producer project, I was reaching out to a lot of labels to see if they were interested. And then at some point Universal came about and they were super interested. And the guy was calling me every day like, yo, I'm gonna sign you. I don't care what you got going on, what other labels offered you. I'm gonna get you a better offer, better terms, better everything, and I'm gonna get you. So he got me. So what is the guy's name? Yarko. Yarko. My guy. Yarko Enqvist. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, got, I, I know the guy. I know yep. the guy yeah. What's up with your Instagram? Man, why you have to do me like that? No. Like, 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 listen. When you listen. go Instagram like right now, like today, you cannot find your Instagram. Like, you MVPs. cannot find me. I'm like, a ghost. What is the case? The case is when you get to the next level of producing and you, you are a fucking super producer, right? Yeah. Everybody trying to hack your shit. Mm -hmm. And they hacked me. For real? And they deleted my Instagram. I don't know why would you do that, but they do, did that. See? So you don't have like a two step verification? I didn't have, but now oh, I'm gonna get shit, it. Bro. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get it. So get oh, your two step fuck. verification shit. Yeah, I, I, have it. I have it in all all over my place like yep. Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, yep. Gmail, every, everywhere. Yep. I have got that. to. Got yeah. to. Uh, let me ask one question for like for, about your label and shit. You have this uh, chain chain also. Oh, it's a Def Jam, you see? Like, can you see? Can you see? Yeah, like, see like a drift. Def Jam, you see? But let little, me get let me get a focus on that. Two little diamonds in there and stuff hey, like that. Hey. Not crazy though. Hey, hey, hey! Just smooth fly, you know. What what Def Jam means to you? Like like the U.S. version? Like that's like, I mean like that's like. <sighs> I have the it's legendary like, label. Yeah, isn't le it? legendary. It's a legendary yeah. label. Legend, legendary. That was the word I was thinking. Yep, it's definitely a legendary label, man. What does what does that mean to you, Def Jam? I don't know what it means to me, but it's super cool. <laughs> I don't know what it, I guess. I don't know, man. 
that's a hard question it's super cool to be signed to Def Jam though because you know what they had who they had Jay-Z I mm. think super cool that they're branching out to Europe and stuff like that so let's bring the name up here too yeah. gotta bring that legendary status yeah can you can you like open up your like this product production like like this like this album you you've been working in like right now yeah in, basically in this dev jam yeah uh, basically Universal. it's the same thing as dj khaled and master doing so they got their own songs but there's featuring artists on them so basically doing the same we got our beats and then we ask artists to jump on the beats and then we release as our singles our songs yeah yeah in in finish good job good job Larry have done yeah that too. exactly yeah. it's like like same type of project right yeah yeah okay. and mds is doing one too now right okay yeah yeah that's cool that's cool yeah. i did not even know about that yeah yeah, but, yeah. I think he's doing one. like i said in the beginning you have done like many 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 songs to like u.s artists like big ass artists and also you are uh, now like a uh, platinum producer right yes i am because you know like the baby's album went, went platinum. platinum man you have produced song on there yep. uh, let's let's go like one by one like how did you get your beat to this like big ass artist let's start from the baby how did you get your beat to him I think we should start from the beginning, beginning because okay, okay, that, it's let's a bigger do that. story than uh, that. I think like Rich Homie One was the, like the first, first one. No, the Am first. I right? No, you're not right. The first one was Money Man. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Let's start from there. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm gonna just say this. How did you get like the placement? Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, because when I started making beats, my focus was always on US. I yeah. never focused on Finnish stuff. Yeah. So I was always working to the US stuff mm. and that's how probably I got there because most of the people if they start in Finnish in Finnish music they go to the Finnish artists and st trying to do stuff with them but I, I just go straight to the US and then I was just building the catalog and making beats and posting them online and stuff like that and then I started tagging actual artists on a, on a beats on Instagram and then Money Man was the one and I tagged him and then I think he liked the video too and then he just went to the YouTube stole my beat <laughs> made a song to the beat dropped the music video to that never asked me a question for real never so you never get paid no 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 I got paid listen get your lawyers up <laughs> yeah but like he he did not pay right before away. Yeah, dropping yeah. the no, song no, no, and shit no, like no. that what is the song name by the way uh change so when 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 that came up like to YouTube and shit, I think it was like November 2017. So there's like three years yeah, right now. It's yeah. Three years. And I think like Money Man was like not that big at the yeah, time. Yeah, he wasn't that big. Cause you know like like at the moment he's like popping. Yeah, yeah. Like like his uh, song the 24. Yeah, with Lil uh, Baby. Yeah, and yeah, the yeah. Re re remix with Lil Baby and shit. Yeah. That that be going crazy on TikTok yep, and shit. Yep. Like, What's the next artist like like big from US you work with? The next placement was uh, was with um, Smoky Margella. Yeah. Who's and the song is called of V Long Flex. V Long Flex. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know the song. Yeah, that's the same stuff as Money Man. He just found the beat on YouTube and stole it and dropped the song. And the song got like 15 million streams right now, which is yeah. kind of crazy. B yeah. So he did not pay also. He did not pay, and I never got paid. Uh, Until till this day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so he, he just dropped the song on Spotify and shit. He did not yeah, even tag you, no, no. like not give you a credit and shit. No. Did you? I mean, have you talked to him? Yeah, we've talked. We've talked a little bit, but nothing business related. So I never got paid for that. But I still were sending him beats all the time. And then I think we got like three more songs. In, in for real? Yeah. But they not released. So I don't know. Why? They, why? Do you know like reason why? I think he's got signed to a label and then the label don't want to release any songs of him so he's not dropping music why? like at all. I don't know. That's I, like I have no idea why. That sounds like pretty crazy yeah. for me because you know like yeah. when you sign to a label I mean like why you don't like why you like, don't let your people like I mean your yeah. artists like drop songs and shit. I mean it depends on the case. Every artist is different. For example if your artist just starting out and then you're like uh, 
your style is not that good yet you still got something potential in you but you, you should not you're not there yet so they they sign you and then kind of want you to develop over the years and then they when you're like ready to go then they're gonna start dropping yeah yeah but i don't know if that's the case in this case maybe there's some legal troubles maybe, in there maybe. yeah like like what is the beat name in the youtube did you tag it that's like like i'm smoking margella no, type no. beat or i think it was young thug type beat for real like, yeah and also you'll be working with young Tug. yeah i got a song with yeah young yeah, yeah let's talk about it like a yeah. little later what is this uh the song with money man what is what is that name in youtube as like who's type beat i think it was money man type beat for real yeah yeah money man type yeah, beat. yeah. and then he, he he got on the song that's like pretty fun to hear it because you know like money man type beat and then, then he money, hop on the yeah, song yeah, yeah yeah what is the next artist in like in like i got yeah sticks the same finish um i think it gotta be lil skies for real my biggest song till this day yeah it's it's from his like shelby album yeah second album yeah. and the song is named breathe yeah it's called breathe yeah if, if i'm not right sexy yeah. song huh yeah it's good <laughs> yeah. I, I you know when i was in the train today i were like because you know like when i do like interview with artists and shit i'll be like when I when I meet them, I before that I listen to their song because you know yeah, you even gotta, though even though I know them I have listened to them a lot but you know like I have to listen to them more because you know like gotta uh, be prepared yeah 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 and she yep. like that I listened to the song like earlier today yeah. like how did you get get to the beat uh I think when Lil Skies dropped his first album which was well uh, there was a song called welcome to the road yeah, yeah yeah that was the intro of the album yeah, yeah yeah that 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 album was so crazy i was like I, I need to work with this guy and he was just coming up so i just started to i just put in my head like like i'm gonna work with this guy one day it was like beginning of a year so january and then i was just finding any way i could to get to him i was tagging him i was messaging him messaging all the people around him and stuff like that and then this producer based one shout out based one he was working with him and at the time i think they still work but he was working at the time and then he sent me a melody and i did the drums to it and then i sent it back to him and then i think he just sent it to little skies and then that was the song did you get paid for that though? yeah i got paid everything straight for that yeah what is the album like like in the sales is, is that like a golden or platinum you know I think it should be gold by now, but they need to certify it f officially. Yeah, yeah. Wait. So, so you finna get like like a flag, yeah. like right yeah. In, yeah. from somewhere. Yeah. Here. Like uh, the the new Da Baby album is like platinum right now. Do you know when 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 you get like the flag flag to it? It depends <laughs> when the label is gonna certify it officially. They have to send all the stats to that company that certified the the records. Yeah and then it's gonna be officially platinum and then i can get the black yeah yeah, yeah so yeah. It, it might take a little time and the little skies album is like uh, in the song you did is also uh palazzo beats on the like yeah the production yeah well we did the drums to get the type okay of thing. yeah so you did that uh in like like uh online or like like here or in in other studio right oh i think i think let me see Based one sent the melody to me and then I started working on the drums here and then I flew out to Austria to Palazzo's uh, house and then we finished the beat there. Okay, yeah. when was that? 2018? 18, 18, yeah. 18, I think 18, 2018 like May, about, about May. Yes. The album came out next year, March, 2019 March. Okay, okay, okay. So it took some time to, to come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How how you like the album? Like like overall? I mean, I don't think it's better than the first one, but it's still cool. Yeah, I mean, like that first album, I don't even remember the name, but there was like uh, the the life of Dark Rose. Yeah, this yeah, album. yeah, yeah. I think that, so, yeah. yeah, that is the album name. I think like that's like one of my favorite trap albums like all time. Yeah, because you know so like cool. every every song in there is so good yeah yeah like the the song like garden i think like that was like pretty slow song i think like mm, it's odd but you know like all all the other songs was like oh my god yeah, yeah. they all in my playlist and shit and like i've been listening to them like yeah. like so much and 
yeah. and the intro of the album. Yeah, welcome that, to the road. Yeah, yeah. it was so, so crazy, and yeah. also also the music video. Yeah, yeah, like it it was made 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 by Cole Bennett, and that was like like one one take music video. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was so that was crazy. Super cool. Yeah, what is the next song you produced? Like after the, that? Yeah. Uh, well, if we're not counting the little rappers, you know, I don't want to say the name. The guy is super trash, but. But you know, like like this big big the artist, big you, artist. You, you sent me like yesterday in the message. Yeah. The next one gotta be two four heavy and young thug on the QC project. Yeah. yeah. How how did you get beat to them? I started following two four heavy like long time ago because yeah. I always look for the for the rappers that coming up and so I'll be like on time before mm. they blow up blow up. Yeah. You know? Because after that you cannot reach them. Yeah, yeah. So I asked for the email. I sent. I started sending beats, and then that was just one of the beats. And then he posted the snippet on Instagram, and then he like asked, "Who should I put on this song?" And then Young Thug commented, "Oh, I wanna, I wanna do it." And then they for did. For real? Yeah. Oh my, that's that's crazy. And they got a music video too, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, and Young Thug is like, like, Godfather of this fucking trap music. Yep. All all with his like like. Like, and yeah, he's like, yeah, like the melodies and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And he's sure. and he does like all these like, like I don't know what's the word in English, but you know, like auto, like, yeah, like yeah. Yeah. Weird yeah, weird, yeah, weird sounds. Yeah, weird, weird, weird shit, like that. Yep. Okay. What is the next, next, uh, next, next beat? Um, 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 um. I think it was the King Von and Lil Durk, and then. Yeah. Buka 600, I don't know. Yeah. That was the song. I mean, not a big song. It was on King Von's, uh, I don't know if it's mixtape or album, something like that. Basically, it wasn't a project. Mm. Yeah. But pretty cool to get Lil Dirk. I was I always wanted to work with Lil Dirk, so yeah, it was yeah. cool. And how it, this one came about is, I think last year, me and Jason started making melodies like every week, and then we sent it out to to different producers we work with and we sent this melody to Mike Major, shout out to you. And then he made a beat and then he got a session with, um, I think Buka 600 was the guy who, who got in the session with him. Okay. And then he, I think Buka dropped the hook on it and then they got King Von and Lil Durk on it. And then it dropped on King Von's album. Okay, yeah. King Von, King Von is also like, Artists I've been listening to a lot, and yeah, and he's Lil, like Lil super Durk, hard, yeah, yeah, Lil yeah, Durk, Lil Durk, super hard. And like King Wong is like, like he he got like this storytelling shit. Yeah. It's like oh, yep. Like like his song took took her to the O and shit. Like oh, yeah, oh my God. yeah, this is crazy. Yeah. And also Lil Durk, his his new album, which came like the Who Who Love songs. Well, yeah. What is the album name? I don't know, man. I can she like that. She like that. Yeah, I, I yeah. fuck with it. I fuck with it heavy. Yeah. Love for the streets. I think. Like, yeah, yeah. Some, like something like that. Like yeah. That, yeah, something like that. But but that the album was like. But the new Drake song though, with Lil Durk. <clears throat> oof. Yeah, that's oof. that is that is good also. Oof. Laugh now, cry later. Yep. Yeah, that's good. I think it's number one on the radio in US. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. And also it's be like in Billboard. Yeah, it's Billboard, on Billboard and shit. top yeah. ten. And there is also a few few artists you be working with also. Like, like the baby is not like a guy to start well. We did not talk about it. Yeah. And also, who who also like like big artist. I don't know if there is any Asian doll. Well, Asian doll. I don't rich know. Rich homie Kwan. Well, rich homie Kwan. Yeah. Yeah. There's like I think like pretty fun story with, with rich homie Kwan because yeah. you know like you had two session I had with a him studio session because you know like all all the other songs was like like just internet yeah, yeah. yeah internet stuff. Uh, let's let's talk about Rich Homie Kwan. Kwan. Yeah. The case is I was in Atlanta, and that's a long story why I was in Atlanta at the time. But I was in Atlanta and we had a studio session, and then we get asked to make some hooks. And then I was working with this girl artist Ray Moon. Shout out to you. Still love you. Yeah. So we dropped six hooks that night. It was like three o'clock in the morning. Rich oh. homie Kwan walks in the studio and he's like, play me something. And then we play this fucking, this hook that we made. And he's like, I'm gonna go record right now, <laughs> load, load, load me up. And then he made the fucking verse in like 20 minutes. I swear to God, all freestyle. Crazy. 
L let me know insane. let me know about like like working with him and like when you meet him like he was super cool the, the guy is super cool i couldn't understand what the fuck he was saying because the fucking slang and they talk yeah, crazy yeah, yeah. but yeah, yeah all the all the atlanta cool. shit yeah know, like, they, they talk be, like, super crazy, crazy. Yeah. 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 yeah couldn't understand anything yeah. But, yeah yeah he was a super cool guy G gave me his number and everything so you have it still yeah I have For it still, yeah it's, it's like like the working number yeah yeah have you been working with him in like uh internet yeah, I asked for the email and then I was sending beats. I'm still sending beats every yeah. now and then. Yeah. Do you know like have he uh, like uh, hop on the you know like? No, I have no idea. Okay, okay. Yeah. They usually don't let you know if they do. Yeah, yeah, and they be like, you know, I just dropped the song. I, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, like yeah. you have the you be have to yeah. be like searching his news. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta look out for the snippets, so um, you know you produce something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like tell tell me about the song you made in the Atlanta. Uh, I mean that's not like come out, but why? It's not on the internet, right? No, it's not. I think there is a snippet on the internet somewhere, but nah, the song never came out, and I, I don't think it's gonna come out any day. Yeah. But the song's super hard. I fuck with it a lot, and I don't know why he never dropped it. It's a super cool song. So you haven't talked talk with him like why why he did not well talk when we did the song he was like oh let's film the music video next week and then i'm gonna drop it right away so we're like yes let's go man <laughs> but then it never never happened i don't know why yeah. that's like i mean i i can like feel your disappointing you know like yeah, yeah. you know like you you working in the studio with like like big ass artists and mm -hmm. like i think like you fuck with him heavy right rich homie yeah yeah, yeah definitely because you know like when you, when you be in school with him and then we he be like no 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 we're not dropping the song mm -hmm. like, well, it is what it is though so. like what type of song you did like it's like a club banger yeah, yeah. like hard hard shit yeah, okay melodic yeah. club banger okay yeah. booty shaking stuff yeah yeah, yeah, yeah i got you i got yeah. you i got you yeah that's that's crazy yeah. that's crazy which homie kwan also is like artist from like yeah. i've been listening to him a lot like like when back he, in the day yeah yeah not like these years yeah i i think like have he even dropped like new shit i think he's dropping but i i don't know why nobody is listening to him no more like i don't know maybe the case we lost, don't talk yeah maybe lost the hype something yeah, happened yeah. yeah tell me how did you get like 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 studio session with like rich homie kwan like why why you were in the atlanta like like doing yeah. music yeah yeah um I found this girl that's about to drop. Listen, oh. man. We're good. Thank you. We're good. I found this girl, Aris, on Instagram. And then I liked her music. So I was like, let's work on something. She gave me her email. I started sending beats. And then she made some songs to them. And then she got signed. I'm not going to mention who because I don't want to get in trouble. But mm. she got signed. And then the guy called me like, yo, I want you to come out to Atlanta and to work in the studio with the artist. I'm like, cool, I'm buy the tickets, I'm there. Yeah. So he bought the tickets. I flew out to Atlanta for one week. First it was one week. We started working, da da da, made some songs, crazy songs. And then after one week, he's like, nah, you're not coming, you're not going back to, to <laughs> Finland, man. You're staying for one more week. So he uh, changed the flights. And I stayed for one more week there. Then I came back home. Uh, I think one month later, he was like, I want to sign you. So we signed with them. And then he was like, you, you, you guys coming out to Atlanta again for three months. So I came out to Atlanta. I think it was like June 2018. Okay. Hey. Something like that. And then we just had sessions all day, every day. Like it was just crazy. And then one of the sessions, because uh, the studio we went to, it, there was all, there were always like wife and Lucci and like all the TIG, I think it's a game label guys. Yeah. And then Rich Home Kwan is signed to them. So one day he was just in the studio and then he just walked in the room and made a song. Do you, do you, did you have like like studio sessions with any other artists uh, in the Atlanta? Yeah, I think Q Money, who is also signed to, I think it's a game record label. We got a song with him, but he's locked up right now, so it's never oh, coming shit. out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think nobody else though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
How about the baby shit? How did you get beat to him? That's yeah. like the hot take, you know. Yeah, hot take, hot take. Because you know that's like big ass, like big ass song and like big ass album right yeah. now. And I think like the baby is like the one of the hottest artists right now. Yeah. Because you know like. Like he has big ass songs, you know, like Rockstar being going crazy, yeah. album being going crazy, yeah. and and like Bob and Suji yeah, and shoot. shit like that. Yeah. How it came about? It it was last year August when he dropped his song. I don't know what was it called. I think intro. Yeah. But basically, more like storytelling type of song. Yeah, yeah. that yeah intro is like yeah yeah. yeah yeah. So I was like, I like this type of songs of him so I found out who made the beat and I just texted the guy and it, it happened to be his DJ also producer mm. and then he just replied to me like yeah let's work on something so me and Jason was like I right, let's let's start doing melodies like I said before we start doing melodies every week and just send them out to everybody we could and DJ kid who is a producer slash his DJ was one of them so and then yeah he just made a I don't know if he even changed anything to the to, to the melody I think it's just a melody but well it's the song you produce it has like two melodies on the song yeah like like piano shit yeah. and after that there's like like more like a like a space I, I see game, where you're going game, which game. one did we produce right. huh <laughs> so which one you produce like people who don't know the one melody that everybody hates the not the piano one the the second one so it like the spacey the, the, game, because yeah. I think like, in 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 my opinion, that's like the better one. Really? Because you know, like the the piano shit is like, in my head, I think like. I like the piano one a lot. Yeah, it, it's like it's it's light, it's light, but it's like, it's like it goes to my head and shit yeah. like like shit. But I think like that your one is better. Well, thank you. I don't like know. like at the time, even. I did not even know like mm. which, which one you did. Yeah. I think like that's one. Okay. That's the better one. But you know like respect. I uh, fuck with it. I fuck with but it. But yeah, we made the second one. Do you belong in like like social social network like music producer network where people can people can be like sending melodies and like shit like that, or do you like work on like Instagram with like all these producers and shit like that? No, I don't have no networks. Yeah. I just I just find people that I like. And then I ask if I can send the melody or if they want to send the melody to me and then we just work. Okay. So there is no producer groups or nothing like that going on. Yeah. yeah. So so like which, which network, like like net side, I mean, do you, you like sold the beats and shit like that? When you were like oh, selling when, beats when online? I was selling beats online, it was BeatStars. But it don't really matter which site you use. Like it, the sales don't come from the side the sales come from your social medias and youtube yeah, and yeah. whatever you got going on but yeah. socials the the b stars or what's the second one track Air, train track train airbeat whatever you use it don't matter yeah whatever you feel like is the best for you just use that yeah yeah so instagram is like like pretty big part of like producing music and when you be like like working with uh, like like people and shit like that twitter instagram both of those are crazy crazy tools to connect with people in finland i, I think like Major key. in finland i think like twitter is not that big but yeah. you know like you US, you're working with yeah. like you like us producers and yeah. like producers from like other countries than finland in that case you know like twitter is like good i think everyone finland, should think, use twitter like that's a good way to connect with people because it's just open messages like you cannot yeah. be what is called like private i don't think it, there yeah. is a private account or maybe there is i'm not sure yeah in twitter you can send like like dm also yeah it's like you can just retweet and just people might fucking answer to you who knows who you want to work with like artists and producers let's talk from uh, i mean let's start from the producers producers ah, like it can be like anyone yeah Ozzy, Ozzy, yeah, I think he's from uh, Germany, right? I f no, he's not from Germany. He's Who is from, from Germany? Uh, Q Beats. He's from yeah, Germany. Yeah, Q Beats is from Germany. Uh, yeah, I would like. Ozzy is from Switzerland. Okay, yeah, yeah. Almost uh, Germany, but yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just remember, like, like I, I know his production. 
I like he he have done many 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 songs like uh, the Drake, Hyde, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sycamore. Oh, maybe not Sycamore. Oh yeah, Sycamore. Yeah, he produced yeah, Sycamore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sycamore is with OZ and and also Q beats on the song, right? Yeah, but there's a lot of pre there's like, yeah, Take Keys yeah, also. Yeah, Take Keys and then I think Sunny Digital did the intro too. Yeah. Or yeah. Heat Boy. I don't know who, but basically there's a lot of producers on this song. In the song, there is like three like parts, uh, yeah, like 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 mm -hmm. beats, which and shit, like yeah. And also there is like many many producers on the song. Yeah. Do you have any any else? Then OZ. Then OZ Boy Wonder. Yeah. Hit yeah. Boy. Oh, Hit Boy is Hit like. Hit Boy is crazy. Yeah, he been going crazy. Like yeah. new new album with uh, Nas. Nas, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. crazy production. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, crazy, absolutely crazy. Do you have any else like like Metro Boomin, like Nick Mira or shit like that? I don't know. Probably those three, I would say, because I mean, Metro Boom is definitely. I would love to work with him, but <coughs> I mean, it's simple production. I don't think his production is super crazy. He's crazy, but it's not like super different from what others are doing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But definitely crazy. Don't don't get me wrong. Yeah. If if you if you have like chance to work with like OZ and like all these other artists. I mean, like producers. producers. Yeah. yeah. Like, what what type of beat you do with OZ? I don't care. Any fire. I really don't care. <laughs> so so you you, you maybe like, yeah, I'm not even gonna make a beat with him. I just want to get a sit down and talk and get to know the guy. Yeah, it's that's also cool. good when, yeah. when you do like music. Yeah. And like like start start from like just being like friendly. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Next, the artist you wanna uh, like work, work with, with, like like you know like rappers and like people who does like vocal shit, you know. Yeah, the ones that I could reach is uh, the ones that are possible, maybe. Roddy Rich, definitely Roddy Rich. So so you, you know like like a producer who is working with Roddy Rich or what? No, I got his A and R's email and then i got i think his labels email okay and i also got a dm from him so for real yeah. from roddy rich yeah but it was back in the day before he was roddy rich that you oh know okay so it was like 20 2019 beginning of the year i think even i don't know before he dropped feed the streets or whatever it was the project feed the streets too so it so, was way yeah, before he got yeah, like yeah, yeah. twenty thousand followers at the time when he yeah, yeah, yeah. messaged so, yeah, yeah. like way 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 way, way before back, way back. like the box and like <laughs> and like every season and shit like that before that before and that. and and the songs with DJ Master yeah before all that. balling and what is the other song he had with him I don't even know high balling. fashion yeah high fashion yeah high fashion yeah. high fashion like goyard yeah, g-wagon so uh, it's so crazy yeah it's, it's crazy song yeah yeah i fuck with it. i fuck with it. do you have like any any other artists like you want to work with like Riley rich is one but you know like like you mean like i mean like it can be like anyone anyone in this world you know j cole and kendrick lamar why them they so crazy i just First of all, they're not doing stupid music. Second of all, they're super crazy, super talented, super cool guys, probably, mm. hopefully. And then, I don't know, I just feel the energy of them. And then Drake, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Drake, Drake is like the biggest artist. Yeah, he's like the biggest artist of all, like, yeah. in, 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 in our time. Like, like, yeah. he be going crazy. Like, I be watching like TikToks and like, and every every TikTok is like, like music related. When, when I go to like, my for you page and they're being like 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 rappers first week sales like in 2010 and all the list there's like uh, 10 albums and like yeah. seven of the albums is like drake albums and i think like views is like his most sell album is it? like first week first oh, week first week okay. yeah first week uh it, it sold like one million and like four one million and four thousand or forty thousand. Yeah. I don't even know. It's like crazy as sales. Like mm. one million first yeah. week. Crazy, crazy. Insane. Do you have any any other artist in your mind? Like Travis Scott, Lil Uzi. Travis Scott would be cool as hell too. Yeah. I don't know about Lil Uzi. I don't know. So about you don't him. fuck with him? No, nah, I fuck with him, but I don't know if I would love to work with him. Like, like if. Like the same way that I would love to work with J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar, 
I would. It's not the same, basically. Okay. okay <laughs> but yeah. definitely, I would love to work with him. But it's not. Just, it's not the same as Kendrick or J Cole. Yeah. 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 But then, then what else? What else? Would love to get one with Bryson Tiller. Bryson Tiller, like an R and B song, right? Yeah. Wow. Trap song. Ha have you done? Have you done like 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 beats? Where Bryson Tiller can hop on. Yeah, definitely. All the time. I'm making all the time. I, I love that style of uh, music. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had like, like, like more, more chill vibe. I it's, mean, the song. It's like chill vibe, but the drums are super hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I like. But I mean, like he's singing. Yeah, all, yeah, all, yeah, all, yeah. Like he's not like going crazy, like like rapping and yeah, like yeah. fast and yeah. she like going crazy. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he he like singing and shit. Yep. Like, yeah, yeah. He dropped like a new album. Anniversary, like, like, yeah, yeah, like few few weeks ago, yeah. He been like five years in like like break, break, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Ah, the poor star, but okay. So that next question is like, what is your favorite producers from Finland and US? Oh my goodness! And uh, let let's 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 start from Finnish. Finland. Finnish. Producers. We've been talking a lot of like like U.S. producers, U.S. music and shit. Let's start from Finnish producers. Okay. Like your favorite Finnish producers. Well, I'm gonna start with easy one, Jason. Jason is the yeah. crazy guy. He's like your like partner. Yeah. Like partner you, you, in crime. Yeah. Yes, sir. Damn. I'm trying to find somebody that people wouldn't expect. Hmm. I don't know, man. I mean, all the producers are hard here, honestly. Yeah. MDS, Good Job Larry, fucking, you name it. But do you have any any other in in your mind? I'ma just name the the ones I like like a lot. MDS, uh, Good Job Larry, Akim is super hard. Yeah. Um. I know. I know him. Yeah. Yeah. Then. Now I'm forgetting every time mm. then i cannot remember his name but he produced for lil wayne which is super uh, crazy s s s sammy sammy uh, s yes yeah some, sammy, some like sammy, that. sammy shout out i don't even know his producer name. lost kid sammy lost kid sammy hold on we need to cut dresses yeah. going no me <laughs> hello your shit is broken boy yeah I'm back. Ho -ho. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. People um, be calling, you know. This <laughs> guy. Dras is outside, like yeah. waiting, waiting to come, like, like produce some music. Like, I mean, like yeah. creating some music. Yeah, make some, you, make you, some hits, you know. Yeah, yeah. What were we talking about? Producers from yeah, Finland, yeah, right? Yeah. MDS. Good job, Larry. Every time. Akim. Malco got melodies. Jason. Oh, the the semi guy. Yeah. Lost kid. Sam. Yes. Skywalk. Mm, fucking yeah, yeah, crazy yeah, yeah. and then alex kala i don't know his name peelman yeah. beats yeah, yeah yeah alex kala yeah like he that's like his artist name yeah yeah who else gonna think about i'm probably missing somebody somebody's gonna yeah. get on my ass Al always when, when i do like like these type of list people be like yeah i forgot him like like when when i send like this like like this final version of the vid they be like oh my god i forgot yeah. his name and she like that nah, yeah. but, i mean if i forgot you my bad yeah but yeah. it's just too many people yeah and then this the one who's working with mds a lot alex alex leon, leon. leon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's a part good 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 like yes sir ski yeah, what is like uh, that your favorite producers from uh, like US like US and like well, yeah like foreign countries apart from Finland Boy Wonder OZ yeah uh Heat Boy yeah the same you say like yeah the really, same yeah, the same yeah. I said that I want to work with a lot so yeah, yeah do you have like any like one one like other from that trio like producer Dr. Dre. Yeah. <laughs> he's he, he, a small yeah, guy, you know, I'll just throw it in there. Yeah, yeah, he, he Maybe one day it's gonna happen. Yeah. Who knows? I mean like he's he's the gold yeah. like of this fucking hip hop rap shit. 
we're probably never gonna make music together but i want to get to know him just just talk yeah, yeah, just to, yeah. to get the knowledge you know he's been in the industry for so long yeah and i mean like all the kids like in our age been listening listening to his like mm -hmm. music yeah. in like when we go back like like five to ten years yeah what is the software you're using for like producing music i'm gonna make it clear fl gang fl who Studio. knows you know you know if you know you know okay so you, that that's like the only only that's like, the only one yeah. i use because i i've been hearing like like i'm many producers you like uses like many 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 like different like like yeah. software like some someone does like drums in the fl and and melodies yeah. on the uh, on the logic and shit like yeah, that yeah. so you only use uh, only logic uh, i'm fl studio don't do me like that fl studio yeah, yeah. i'm wearing my all head way, like all this, the way this little girl is getting yeah. is getting my head <laughs> yeah fl studio fl, FL studio, studio all yeah. day every day yeah what type of plugins you like use and shit like that? Like that, like that plugins you use like the most. You mean for the melodies type of thing? Like overall, overall. Overall, I don't, I don't really music. use plugins that much. If I make a melody, I use fruity stock plugins to be honest. Okay. And sometimes I'm this fair, but usually it's like Flex, which is FL stock plugin, and then. Well, I use Xpand 2 yeah. quite a lot, which is a $1 plugin, so go get it. $1? Yeah. Shit. I don't know if it's anymore, but it used to be $1. All the fans who is like watching this vid be like, oh my God, I want to buy beat from you and shit like that. Yeah. How much beat costs from you? Dog. Why? Why? <laughs> Listen, if you fire, if you're from Finland and you're fire and you s make songs and finish, just send me a message, okay? If you fire, I'm gonna take for free and maybe I'm gonna develop you, who knows? And then we, we're gonna sign you to a label and Def Jam. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna get it. And, you, and, and then you're gonna get a chain. Yeah, chain. yeah, see? If you're not that good and I don't like your music, then it's gonna be pricey for you, my guy. I'm sorry. If you are not signed to a label and you're broke, I might charge you like 300, 400. Yeah. But if you're signed to a label or you're not broke, then it's gonna go 2K and more. Yeah. So like, when you produce for like US artists. Oh, US is completely different thing. Okay, so- US, uh, The prices are completely different. So it's like, like more or it's, less? Nah, it's definitely more like, even if the artist is not that crazy and he doesn't get streams, it's usually the 2000 is the standard price for B. Okay. Yeah, Even yeah, if they you. make like sixteen thousand streams on Spotify, which is nothing. Yeah. But the beat price is still two thousand. But if you are major and you're making numbers, bro, ten k and up. And in case in, in case like the baby and shit like that. Yeah, it's ten k and up. Yeah. Can you give like advice to people who are trying to like make it in, like as a producer? You know, yeah, as a producer, like. Don't be scared to to message people, text people, DM people. I mean, just text. If you like art, just try to DM. My work, my not. If you, if you, if he got a fucking email in the in the bio, just use the email. Just send the beats. Yeah. yeah. Who cares? Maybe he's gonna check it, and then make a song, and then he's gonna drop it. Maybe he's gonna go number one on Billboard. And maybe it's gonna be a platinum shit like that. Easy. Yeah. Why did you start produce music, and when? like tell me tell me your the producing story. history i started when i was 18 years old so it's kind of old for starting something new mm -hmm. but it worked so how so <laughs> how? how did i start i was just at home doing nothing then i just was going to youtube just watching videos random videos and then i this one video came up with the uh, with the guy making a beat and then like a vlog type of video and then he was driving like Audis and stuff like that and he got a big ass mansion and I'm like what the hell <laughs> I'm gonna try this so I tried it and then you know first it's like a hobby type of thing so you just make one beat a week and stuff like that but then then when I went to Haga Helia to to study Tradenome after like one week there I'm like no 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 listen this is not gonna work out for me so I just dropped out and just focused fully on music so 
So how so how old are you right now? I'm almost 25. So you've been producing music for like uh, seven years, six years. Yeah, like six, seven years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So do you know like the, I mean like do you have your like 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 first beats like on computer or like hard drive and shit like that? Nah, probably not. It was so long ago. I used to have it's probably three computers before this one, so already, yeah. it's already gone there somewhere. Yeah. What type of beats you did like when you started producing? Like, you, you, I mean, it was like trap beats. Yeah, it like... was those you know trap beats with uh, Kill Bill Siren, like 808 yeah, Mafia used to yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was those type of songs. So 808 Mafia being like your inspiration for like producing music, right? No, I wouldn't say so. The inspiration came from this guy who who posted the video vlog yeah. on his YouTube channel. I mean, like like one of your inspirations, like Edo and Mafia. I don't know if maybe somehow unconsciously they inspire me to make some type of music. Like if I'm making a trap trap beat, I'm definitely inspired by 808 Mafia. But yeah. if I'm making R&B type of beat, then like uh, no way they inspire me mm. to do that. So it's, it's kind of different. 808 Mafia is crazy. Yeah, definitely. They've been producing like like a, like a lot of future shit yeah, and shit like that. Catalog is crazy. Yeah, 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 I mean like and the whole 808 Mafia. There's like so many people like like 20 20 or more people i mean yeah like, yeah. Yeah, yeah so so big as yep, yep. like south side perps and tm88 yeah tm88 is yep. part of the part of the and then the this game. new guy they got palace from germany sample maker super crazy just got samples from him actually for real yeah. so you've been cooking up with him yeah he sent me one pack i made like three beats maybe yeah. maybe four can you tell like uh, other producers from like like US or like any other country you've been working with lately? The big ones, you mean? Yeah. Uh, well, the baby's producer, then Roddy Rich's producer, one of them, Sonic, and then. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. And then there was this one big guy, I can't remember the name. Fuck. I cannot remember the name, but yeah, there's some guys I work with. Yeah. Why, why you like started to do like trap, trap beats? Why not like a boom bap or like a EDM or shit? Like who, who is doing boom bap nowadays? Yeah, but, tell me. Yeah, but nobody's like, doing boom bap. But why you like you don't listen to like boom bap? Or? You well, been not, you? not anymore, obviously. Yeah. But when I started listening to hip hop, it was like Fifty Cent, Eminem yeah, type yeah, of yeah. type of. Things. So wh where you get your inspiration for producing music, like yeah. when you're doing a beat and shit like yeah. that? Yeah, people ask me this question a lot, man. And every time I answer this, the answer is always the same: is I don't need no inspiration to make music no more. It's but like it's like a job to me. Well, I still love it, of course, but it's like a job. It's like oh, automatic. Like if I need to make an R&B beat, I'm just making an R&B beat. So. Sometimes if you inspire then it comes up even crazier, but I don't need to be inspired to start making something So you have always like a vision of on, on your head like like when you creating a beat like Like you know what you're doing that right? Yeah, yeah, that it's it's all like this So it happens super fast because I trained to this I practice a lot. Yeah, I, I did my hours 10,000 hours probably even more now mm. So I mean it's like it's all just like this wow. Where did you get like like a when you started creating music, like producing music and shit like that, where where you like 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 get like uh, like information and like did YouTube. you look like, YouTube and shit like YouTube, that? YouTube definitely the, the, YouTube. the guy the guy who did like this this yeah right? yeah well you couldn't get much from him like technique wise how to make beats but it was just super inspirational to see that somebody's making actual money from selling beats online so I was like damn. But then if you wanted to learn how to use FL, you have to go to other channels, of course, but yeah, yeah it's YouTube. Yeah. Where did you get your name? MVA Beats. It's my second name, first name, and then my father's name. And then Beats. So, so initials, basically. So what is M? Uh, it's my second name. Not yeah. second name, it's basically, Sukunimi, basically. Uh, last name, last name. Yeah, last name. Yeah. So what is your last name? 
tell to people, right? Mokin. Yeah, I, I know that. I know. Mokin. Mokin. Get it uh, right. Yeah, and the V is your first Vladislav, name. Vladislav, yeah. Yes. Exactly like Kleros, you see? Yeah, Vladislav, yeah, that mm. listed man. We yeah. also got the same father's name too, Andreevich. For, for real? Yeah. Same first name, same father's name, well, different uh, last names, of course. <laughs> so you are like a brother, right? <laughs> Almost, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, have you been working with Kleros? No. I don't know why it never happened, man, come on. We were supposed to have a session like fucking a year ago, but he, he was like, I have a meeting. I'm like, well, now, now you can do it. Loris, mm. come on, come on, come on. I mean, like, this is like one of our last questions. We made a song together, right? Yes, we did. Like like a few months ago. Yes, we did. The song named Benz. And you know, yes, like, I, I dropped the, uh, the vlog like uh, Before this video came out, how did you create a beat? Do you even remember? I think like that beat was like pretty, pretty old. Yeah, I, think. I cannot remember how we made that. <laughs> For real? So, yeah, it was so long ago. When, when you did that? Like a 2018? Um... No, nah, maybe 2019, like beginning of 2019. Yeah. So it's say. been almost like two months, uh, two years. I mean. Yeah, like well, almost. year and a half. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. yeah. Because yeah. I was like, damn, I want to hear like, like the studio session when you create a beat. Because you know, like, it's it's like it's like the, the song means like like a lot of me. I mm. mean, a lot for me because you know, like that's like my first first song and she like comeback that, so. season, yeah. boys. <laughs> <laughs> and she like that so. I mean, yeah. like, damn. Nah, yeah. it was a fun session, though. It was yeah. super fun. So you did a beat with uh, Jason? Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. Cause like people already people know from the vid. If you haven't checked that out, go check that shit out. If you want, if you want to see like when when these guys like working in the studio, right? And and also Jason and me and Dress and shit like that. Yeah. But you know, like, uh, we've been we've been doing this inter interview for like a uh, one one hour right now. We have like few questions left yeah, yeah. and like this next questions is like plans for next few months what do you have for the next few months yeah like uh, this year like for this year yeah okay we need to finish the album that's the probably the main one we need to finish that stuff and then it's just more beats more sessions more records more whatever mm. it's just work 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 it don't stop do you have like like planned like studio sessions with like with like artists and shit like that do you have like like see they allowed it to look or like like <sighs> well with, with some of them yeah it, it but usually if i'm like feeling like i want to do some songs tonight and i just message any artists i could, could find on my instagram but i don't have instagram so now it's just contact numbers but i just message them what you doing tonight let's go to the studio so yeah, yeah. If, if somebody want to go to the studio come on what is your plans for next few uh, like years like two years next, next two years. few years plans well we finished this album then we have to do another one which might be a little different from the first one. i'm not gonna tell how but it might be a little different maybe rich homie kwan song is gonna be on there for real i don't know let's we'll see i forgot to ask this question uh, do you have the song where it's uh, Rich Homie One yeah, in, in your computer. Have, yes, I do have it. For real? Yeah, I do have it. Oh shit! That's I crazy. didn't play it to you. No, no, no. Oh, I haven't heard it. I'm gonna play it to you. Yeah. yeah. I want to hear the song because you yeah. know, like Rich Homie Kwan is like a legend. Yeah. And you have been producing him. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, I want to hear the shit. Yeah, I'm gonna play it to you. Yeah, yeah. After this, after this interview. You know what would be cool to to get on on the second album to get the baby songs that didn't drop. Imagine that. Yeah, and also you have uh, songs with the baby. Yeah, like, which uh, never how, dropped. How many? Probably like five. Five, for real. Maybe from four or five about. And is that like also like, like you and Jason X DJ Kid? Yeah, 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 all of them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like, like, produced songs like, like you and Jason only. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, what what type of song you have done with him, with the baby? Uh, well, we got, diff it. we got different stuff. We got this kind of little Uzi type of song okay. with those like okay. arps going on crazy, like 
eternal take type of stuff and yeah. then we got those up tempo club shit and then just basically with the baby stuff too yeah 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 have you heard the songs like the finished finish one okay yeah, yeah yeah so you don't have it on no, your I computer yeah, yeah. yeah i mean like that shit is gonna be like people don't send like like if you us artists and yeah like they're so scared that you're gonna leak them yeah, so. yeah, yeah. and that's understandable I mean. yeah, yeah yeah do you know like any any plans for that Da baby songs well, well, like you you made it with him i mean like the songs you produced well we were supposed to have one two on our last album but one got taken out like last minute okay so we only had one but i don't know what's gonna happen to the next to the, to the next four or five whatever yeah. we had let's be on the lookout for that yeah maybe they're gonna drop on the next album i don't know yeah. Maybe hopefully, hopefully, because I want to hear the fucking songs, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Last question is like, yeah, uh, you know, everybody knows like, we've been in a quarantine for like many, many, many months this year. Yeah. How did your quarantine went? Pretty good. What did you do in a quarantine? Same old stuff: beats, loops, records, music. Just it's all the same, but artists have more time now so they come more often to the studio that's a good thing but also like of course you have to put the masks on and uh, that's that shit sucks yeah when you when you in yeah. like uh, you know and shit like that train yeah, that shit train sucks. and metro yeah, yeah um did you learn like anything new from like of yourself mm, no probably no because i usually I, even if it's not quarantine i'm always self-conscious i'm i know what i'm doing i know what i want to do so the time over didn't do anything to me that okay. quarantine time yeah it's, it's the same old stuff do you have any like last words like inspirational words like mm -hmm. to a people who like listen to your mm -hmm. music and like maybe want to start like producing their own music yeah i'm gonna say this don't be scared to try that's one thing that people be that's probably the the biggest reason why people not be successful they just scared to try what you're gonna lose if you try nothing why not try yeah just the, the one simple message can fucking change your life basically just one message just like in your case yeah like the baby she yeah. like that yeah. that she go went exactly. crazy okay like you just send a message and then start working oh and start fucking working man start working cannot be lazy in this shit yeah you have to be like working all day all day every night yeah. that's how it goes that's all do you have like anything else in your mind fix my instagram please <laughs> <All right. laughs> thank you for watching the video this is my third time doing uh interview in english and my english is pretty bad but you know i'm practicing and comment down below if you like the video and like put a thumbs up for the video subscribe to my channel and follow us on instagram when when he get it back like right now is it's it's like let to all us because it's an life is hard yeah. when you hacked that shit is fucking trash i don't know like what 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 the hackers think about when when, when they did that yeah what's the point <sighs> i don't hack my account and just delete it i don't get it fuck you haters yeah. and and <laughs> yeah fuck you haters yeah. and also fuck the hackers yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's better to stop this vid. Longer is getting to my head, you know. Longer is getting to my head. Thank you for watching this vid and see you in the next episode. Pow! And thank you for being this vid. Thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you. Yes, sir. Nahan,